Joanne Morell Owens, Black Paleontologist and Marine Biologist. The first African American woman in the United States to receive a doctorate in geology, Joanne Merle Owens. Her career is a classic story of a woman's perseverance in holding on to her dreams. Born and raised near the ocean, she developed a fascination for the sea very early in life and began the dream of a career in marine biology while still in high school. But as things turned out, she was not to realize this dream for a few decades. Owens was born on June 30, 1933, in Miami, Florida, to Dr. William H. Merle, a dentist, and Leola Peterson Merle, a former school teacher. In 1950, she entered Fisk University in Nashville, Tennessee, hoping to pursue her chosen field, but found that neither women nor African Americans were encouraged to pursue careers in the marine sciences. This lack of peer support led her to try to follow her mother's suggestion to pursue a career in teaching, and she graduated in 1954 with a major in fine art and a double minor in mathematics and psychology. She then joined a master's program in commercial art at the University of Michigan at Ann Arbor, but was disillusioned with the field and switched to education. Before her graduation in 1956, she had already redirected her talents and began her work with brain-damaged and emotionally disturbed children at the university's Children's Psychiatric Hospital. After working there for two years, she was appointed as a teacher in the English department at Howard University in Washington, D.C., where she stayed until 1964. She then moved with her husband, Frank A. Owens, a program analyst for the U.S. Postal Service to Massachusetts, where she worked at the Institute for Services to Education in developing programs for teaching various educationally disadvantaged students. In 1970, Owens returned to Washington, D.C., where she reassessed her career and started to seriously consider re-entering school to study marine biology. None of the many institutions in the area had an undergraduate program in the field at that time, and upon the advice of an old friend, Owens re-enrolled herself in an undergraduate program, this time at Georgia George Washington University, with a major in geology and a minor in zoology. She graduated in 1973 and immediately began graduate work in the geology department, opting to specialize in the area of paleontology. She received a master's in 1976 and continued to study there for her doctoral degree. While searching for a dissertation topic, she met with Dr. Stephen Cairns at the nearby Smithsonian Institute. He encouraged her to study a unique group of deep sea corals called button corals, about which very little was known. When she completed her Ph.D. in 1984, she had already been teaching in the Geology and Geography Department at Howard University for eight years. She remained there for the, for the duration of her career, moving to the Biology Department after the Geology Department was eliminated and retiring from active work in 1995. In her years as a researcher, Owens contributed an immense amount of new information about her group of deep-sea corals. She redefined the classification of these creatures and discovered completely new organisms, one of which she named Latepsamia franchi after her husband. Reminiscing about her career in a recent conversation with contributor Niraja Sankaran, she remarked, quote, scientifically, it was always ex very exciting to discover and describe a whole new genus or species and thus extend our knowledge of deep sea corals. But I have also gotten a lot of satisfaction as a teacher, interacting with fresh minds and opening up, opening them up to possibilities. She added, unquote, she added that she was especially gratified by the response of the students in freshman level courses for non-science majors. Quote, suddenly they tell themselves, hey, this is something I can do. This is a great deal of satisfaction in, satisfaction 
in helping students overcome their fear of science. There's a great deal of satisfaction in helping students overcome their fear of science. Citations are in the description.